Hello guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Hearts Farm 4 Black Eyes as Japan. So last episode I said the thing with was a very bad joke that I was gonna kill the United States. Of course I'm gonna kill the United States, that's the whole point of this campaign. Uh, that's why I have this super navy uh, sitting here, readying up, taking care of themselves and not really doing anything offensive. Because you're gonna wait here until I can take one of these good commanders. Actually, I can assign you right now, it doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, they're supposed to be the one that breaks the United States so we can invade them. Uh, but the idea about not attacking the allies might be good. It's not 100% certain that they would actually join the allies if I just attacked the United States. So um, I think I'm gonna try that, just attack the United States. Oh wait, it takes two days? <laughs> Two days to justify this war, yeah, we're not gonna justify it yet. We need to bring down at least Soviet Union first, and maybe even Germany, because I have a feeling like they would want to attack. Well, they probably have some war gold claims on these areas, or some kind of thing that will just tell them we need to attack, so, well, the parts here in Soviet Union. And yeah, so therefore it might be best to just strike them down and finish them off before, well, going for United States. But we'll see. We'll see, all in due time. So. Um, I was thinking, we did this one, maybe it would be nice to grab this one too. Or let's grab that one first. Excavation, sure, we are fine with resources all now, but once the Union, Union falls and we get all of this, we might need some more of maybe steel and oil, and having that 30% extra would be nice. But I think no more delays, yes, let's just continue the game. Oh, the equipment is still, is that still the boats? No, no, wait, wait, type something field gun. Oh right, the artillery. Um, are we fine with artillery right now? Artillery, 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 10,000. What the hell, Daniel? 10,000 of them? Uh, yeah, we're pretty much fine with improving this, please. Uh, and apparently recon equipment too. And right here, let's upgrade you. Uh, upgrade you, where are your artillery? Hello! Really disappeared. There we go. Uh, oh wait, show outdated. That's why we had such a many, so many equipments that I didn't recognize. Uh, let's see you. Better artillery right there. Thank you. Is there anything else? Yes, you're supposed to be improved to the new recon equipment. Right there. Yes, thank you. And we also had uniforms, I think. Where are the uniforms? Top? No, nothing to improve right there. Never mind. So, um, imp we have nothing to pick right here. We're waiting for to be able to switch war to domestic to state requisition, I think. Just police power and attitude unity production, and I don't really need any of that right now. We're doing just fine against them. And right now we're walking in and actually breaking Soviet Union quite well. Finally have enough anti-tank guns to beat the crap out of their tanks too. And we have a tons and tons of manpower because some smart moves. Switching to well, right here quite quickly and Right, weren't we gonna start building tanks? Wasn't this the reason to why we <laughs> went down this path? I think so. But then we decided once again not to go for tanks or something? Because we didn't have enough equipment? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Because we were actually lacking equipment right now. So we went for delaying that tank tactic. Hmm. We might have to go for it once we, well, invade United States. Uh, all of the units right here from the north are still transferring down. Because, well, supply here is extremely, extremely bad. Uh, do you even have anything? Any, like, infrastructure? W level 1. Level 1 right there. Okay, okay, we're gonna do like this. No, right, actually. Yeah. Not too everywhere. I want level 2 at least everywhere. Okay, this area is useless because I'm not gonna be there. Same here, same here. Let's just build where it's actually needed. So, 37 days and we're gonna fix the entire infrastructure right there. Cool. And that's gonna, well, I probably even probably something like double the supply right here at least so that's gonna be pretty goddamn great uh, <coughs> otherwise let's just continue right we just took Stalingrad and we are reinforcing everything right now all right I'm, I told you to go let's just split up right here yeah that's probably better we don't have to go down all the way down you go right here you please go in right here you freed right there, I want one unit going right here. And that should pretty much be it, and you are still walking in there. Cool, cool. Alright, more research to be done. Mm, let's see. Fleet in being, please, we need to fix that completely. 
Oh, are both of these units just retreating? Or maybe moving? I don't know, actually. It's hard to see on tanks. Uh, let's see, I think... I'm pretty much everyone landed right now. Supply is fine. Pax Americana, yeah, you're defending everything there. Whatever. Uh, let's see, can we continue here in the south? It would be nice if we could break everyone right here. Uh, take one of these units instead and move right here. Yeah, that works. And how is the blue line? Yeah, still only up to here. Perfect. So I think I'm gonna execute these two. Yeah, and still let uh, this army just regroup everywhere. Yeah, we're breaking them on most places, which is exactly only what I need. Most places. And Germany declared one Soviet Union. So everyone be aggressive and push as much as possible. I don't care what's necessary. We need to grab the good land. Go in, crush them. As quickly as freaking possible. non aggression Germany and Soviet Union has surprisingly ended well. Not that surprising. Soviet Union is done for it. I need to grab the good land. I need to grab as much points as possible. Time to be extremely aggressive. I'm gonna take higher losses, but hopefully not as high losses because hopefully some of these units are gonna get pulled to this front. So uh, yeah, be very aggressive now. Take everything. Take what you can. Give nothing to Germany, please. Because if I want to beat them, I need to grab as much land as possible. Like here, please rush in. Whatever is necessary, whatever you need to do, go in and get there. I don't care what kind of losses I will get here. By the way, we need to fix this now. Artillery battalion is how much combat width? Is that 1.5? Really? Yeah, 1.5. That's weird. Uh, I think we'll do like this even. Yeah, that would be perfect. God, we lose quite a bit of... But we have enough of everything else. Yeah, definitely. So let's save that. Because we're missing a tiny bit of infantry equipment. Or we were at like 1,000. So reducing infantry equipment, increasing artillery, which we had a ton of, is an excellent move, I think. And right here, advanced torpedo, sure. So everyone is basically just marching in right now. I think. That's why we don't see as many, well, victory. Because we're just going in now. Cool. And right here. Wait, they took back Stalingrad? Really? That was weird. Okay, uh, please go in and take this back for me. Uh, guys, uh, you can't leave this right here. I, how, how in hell did that happen? Okay, I'm gonna grab these guys and you're gonna make your own order right now and you surround this. I'm gonna grab a couple more units right here. <laughs> we need to get this. Uh, you three, you need to very, or you two at least, very quickly get down here. While the rest of the units, well, just gather around. The tanks are just wrecking me. Holy crap. Mistakes were made somehow. Uh, bring everything down, just continue pushing in, please. Germany is not that quick, so... Well, we generally pushing forward everywhere, it's just here we have a slight problem right now. If we could just bring down Stalingrad, that would be excellent, because then all the supply you possibly could have will be completely zero. There we go. You should now be just piece of cake. And you actually have a lot of men right here. Uh, please go like this and try to surround them at Stalingrad. We need a very small front if we want, well, the possibility to beat them with only s seven units. You are, well, pushing in quite nicely. Losses, well, it's going, well, actually rising quite quickly for them since they're at war with both me and Germany. Uh, let's get the next tech upgrade. Let's see here with artillery. Stop being stressed out. Take it easy. Relax. You can still pause the game. You can still take it easy. Don't be stressed. Think clearly about this. Do not mess up with anything. Uh, no, that's very far ahead in time. Rockets, no, that's also far ahead in time. Let's see. Airbase construction speed, we don't care about. Ma max entrenchment. Well, I guess we could always get that, but we seem to already have these two, so how in hell do we not have that one? Weird. Uh, let's see, organization loss when moving, yes please, we want that one, and we also want this one. Factory output and retention, please. Cool. Alright. These two, eradicate this small part right here. Actually, I don't need both troops, you can go up right here, together with you. Only you need to be assigned right here. Good. The rest of your units, please. Reduce this front as much as possible. <laughs> he beat back two units at the same time. And you go in right here. The rest of us are just marching forwards. 
and defeating the crap out of them. Very nice. Eight divisions from both sides. I don't know, that's too much. Well, just go in. Finish them. This entire part now is cut off from the capital, which means... Well, supply should be pretty goddamn bad for them. Once they're not connected with the capital, supply will very, very quickly disappear. Good. Cut off right there. You need to go right here and stop them from uniting right there. Housing done. Very nice. Uh, schools. Sure. Sure. Let's division training. Less division training time is pretty good. Not the best, but it's decent. Um, there we go. Making that one disappear. Come on. Come on. Just do it. Just do it. Nothing is impossible. Okay, everyone has been assigned right here. No, all of you are supposed to be right here. Around this. And you're trying to, well... Make this front as large as possible. No, please. Uh, you go in and grab this. You go in to grab this. So basically both uniting that front, which might have some units. Kill them. Kill them before an anywhere arrive. One day is a couple 20 hours. No. Well, you defeat them and then destroy them. Thank you. So every single one of these seven divisions now unite right here. Unite right there, please. And why don't you have a commander? I don't know, but now you do. It doesn't really matter. We have enough for everyone. All of you guys, just continuously marching in. We have way too many divisions signed right here. Uh, so D7, just get up. Uh, you, let's see. Like U6, get up too. Quickly, please. And let's see, how many divisions do we have right here? Yeah, they are basically getting a bunch of piles right here. So our frontal push might be delayed a bit, which is very bad. I want this to be done as quickly as possible. You, please just slaughter this. One unit right there, one unit, one unit right there. Come on, we don't have to stress this. I know I want, can't play fast, but let's not mess up because, well... The more I mess up, the more land Germany is actually going to get. If they're not losing against Soviet Union. No. Wait. Are, are, no, so far it's apparently at standstill. Wow. You suck, Germany. Uh, let's see. The seven divisions right here are finally getting here. And it's beating everyone except here at Stalingrad. Because it's one unit attacking... Okay, two units, and both are rivers. Just clean up all of this, and we'll be fine. Right here. Uh, let's do like this. You, remove all these orders. And everyone right here, hold, 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 hold. You'll be assigned somewhere else. Okay, I want these two units that I have control over to be assigned. The only ones assigned right here, and you're gonna go to Sevastopol. Uh, you are cleaning up this, good. You are going in cleaning up that part. You are cleaning up this. You are going in and just this entire southern path. You are cleaning up this, which have eight divisions signed to them. Wow, that's way, 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 way too much. You are done right here. You are not assigned anywhere. Then I'm just going to assign you to the big front. When you don't know where to go, you go to the... Where the front is largest, basically. Uh, okay. Please surround Stalingrad again. Seems a second time. Second time is the charm. Hopefully they will be permanently eradicated from there now. Bring down this. Thank you. Let's see this unit. Please go like that. And I want one of these units to go like this. That should be fine. Come on. Are we grabbing Moscow? I think we will. We're cutting off the Germans like this, and that might be fine. But then we might be fine, actually. If Germany has now declared war against Soviet Union, then, uh, yeah, we might be fine. Uh, let's see. Wait, they have their freaking... Um, Soviet Union have their bonus they get in Black Ice, that after a while, while being at war with Germany... This one. Oh, crap, they have already received it. Wait, wait, yeah. Women in model lamps. Oh god, that's a lot. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. These are billion penalties right now. Where, where was the bonus? I looked at two seconds ago. You all saw it, right? You all saw it two seconds ago. What? They lost something that made it... What? <laughs> I have no clue what's going on. 
Well, well, all right, all right, then you don't have all the bonuses, which is great for me, because then I don't have to fight an uh, extreme large battle. This was basically why I wanted to bring you down before Germany declared the war, because I know, well, you get a massive, really good penalty or bonus for a very long time. Maybe you already had it, and I apparently missed it. Maybe that was why we had such a hard time, suddenly. You got that bonus, but now you lost it? Oh yeah, you must have just lost it. I saw it said November something. So you must just have lost it, and we're gonna slaughter the crap out of you now, when you don't have all those bonuses. Alright, cool. What the hell are you doing? All of you get to the real front. You guys, please bring down Stalingrad. Okay, cool. Stalingrad is down for the second time. Right here. Finish this off. The south is ours. Advanced torpedoes. That's well, also pretty decent to get. Uh, let's see. Expand that one. Two naval doctrine bonuses, which we we have quite a bit, quite many more naval doctrines to do. So yeah, I won't. Well, say no to that. We have six million manpower now because we're taking finally the good areas in Soviet Union, which means tons of manpower. Uh, let's change your plan a tiny bit. Hopefully, we can get a grab Leningrad too. But that would be a bit more difficult. You are slowly getting here. Very good. Let's see. You have a plan. Actually, your plan... You don't have a plan to grab this land. No, you don't. And how many divisions are assigned? 35. I want 56 divisions to be assigned right here. Oh, crap. I never let... I didn't let you finish these orders now. Bad. Bad, Daniel. Bad. Uh, the rest of you... Actually, you don't have to finish. You can... That was all we needed. Like, two divisions to fix this. Or one, two, three, four, five. Four divisions. Never mind, four. <laughs> My entirety of me just gets stressed, even though I'm just trying to be calm, take it easy now, because we don't have anything to stress to. We are can pause the game anytime we want and just relax. So, we have a bunch of new factories. Actually, most of those factories have all been assigned somewhere, because we have needed them. Let's see, 80 guns, fine. Artillery, actually, we don't need that. Well, yeah, we're fine with everything right now, except apparently like utility vehicles uh, right here I'm gonna give you one entire line then just in case and the seven divisions you're no longer needed right there I'm gonna take well four of you assigned back to this line and you three divisions you can get to the red line and we have a lot of red people well most likely assigned here once we finally finish this off we could well, we could sort, we could have sorted out everything and just had the perfect amount everywhere, but I didn't think I would need it right here, and we are pushing forward quite quickly, even without having the perfect amount, so I thought it was kind of fine. Uh, you guys, no one, please. Come on, just unite this one. There we go. You're united right here. All we have up, up here is a couple more provinces, which is going to fall kind of quickly, so I'm going to do like this. All of you, divisions, all of these divisions. First, we're going to remove the two, two there. You are the red division and everyone assigned right there. Then we're going to remark mark everything once again. Then we're going to delete the first one and the last one. You are the orange one. And you're going to be assigned right there, just in case, so we have everyone assigned exactly where it should be. And then we're going to mark, well, basically the entire south, because we don't shouldn't have any blue divisions in the north. And assign everyone right there. Cool. That should basically be it. Now everyone should be assigned at the correct position. And yeah, the blue line, you can I can fix it a tiny bit more. Just make it a bit more straight, like this. Cool. Moscow is definitely going to be ours. Our loss is 3 million versus their 4.3 million. Yeah, they definitely had the bonus before. They definitely had a bonus before and I completely missed it. Uh, motivate the army once again. Make it as good as possible. <sighs> Alright. Having having Germany declared war was, well, not really... Well, it didn't really help me. It didn't not, not help me, but it didn't really help me. Uh, let's do like this. Ask military access. Thank you. And we won't get any new borders against Germany. And all of these divisions that are not assigned. I can just assign you like this. Red. Orange. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Blue divisions. Orange divisions. Anyone more assigned? Yes, one blue right there. And this should be now fine. 
Oh god, we have seven visions right there. Get a sign right here. We had two red more right there. And that was everyone with a red exclamation mark. Yeah, cool. Then please bring down the last parts. We have how much war score against Soviet Union? 6,300 and casualties 1.2. If we check their war, German Soviet war, and close, close this, you have 500 score. Yeah, you won't even come close to my score. Good. You're being very aggressive, I hope still. You have. Have you cleaned up this yet? No, you haven't. Actually, because some units still existed right here. Cool. Now, halt. Switch line, you go up right there. Perfect. How long before you have taken both of these? Seven days still. <laughs> and you, how long do you have? Six days. Soviet Union is a very, very large nation. And they're motivated army level 2, so 1% more in all those stats. Very good. Oh, will we gra grab Kiev then? Oh, that's really good. That's another 25 points. I think at least. Follow Kiev. <laughs> really, Germans just stole it in front of me. But we're gonna get Moscow. I wonder if they have an event for this. There's usually events for like Germany taking Moscow and stuff like that, but do have an event for Japan taking Moscow? Or have black guys implemented one, maybe? I do not know. I know there's an event for Finland when they take Leningrad, like um, only the city of Leningrad has more people than the entire Finland. How are they gonna handle that? But I don't know. How about this? Grab Moscow now. Yeah, <laughs> the Soviet divisions are just falling now when they don't have the modifier. Oh god. They have so many bad modifiers right now, even. Huh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You are dead meat right now. Instead of being super powerful. That explains the entire thing we had. And there we go. Soviet Union has capitulated. Uh, it has announced that the cowardly Soviet Union can no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Japanese forces throughout the country. The Soviet government chose to flee the country and have gone into exile. Wow, we got a bunch of tanks. Oh, because the AI has modify. Oh, that's one thing. So they have the modifiers that everything is 50% cheaper for them. And that makes it a tiny bit easy for me. Because once I grab a nation, I'm gonna get all the tanks. So if I wanted a tank army, we're probably gonna build it with Soviet tanks. We only get 55%. So holy crap, they had a ton extra. Oh, here, here we also see the example. Everything they have occupied is extremely expensive for me. But you can see how much I have occupied. Oh, grab this annex all button. It's not really gonna work then. Hmm. Wow. There will be a lot of clicking. But let's grab everything that I'm certain is mine. And then we can fight a bit with Germany exactly what should be mine. Grab everything right here. We have a ton more score than them. They could basically take one of my provinces. Okay, there we go. That's everything from all the other puppets and small nations that I brought down. And then we have Soviet Union. Let's grab everything first right here. There we go. Uh, 77, that's fine. Basically, let's try to grab the coast first. The coast against Germany. Because, yeah, it's basically impossible for us to grab anything right here. Germany didn't get that much land. And it doesn't... Well, it would be nice if Germany could have those two provinces, but they're mine. So I'm gonna grab them. It would make nice borders, but, well, I'm greedy right now. There you go. Then, with the last points, I think I can grab for about 1,000 more points. I'm gonna grab Siberia. Because this might be cheap enough, even with the extra modifier, for them to actually grab it. So I'm gonna find all the bad provinces they might be able to grab. And just take them. I think that was it. Maybe... Oh, there's one too. Let's see, there's a one, probably definitely grab, be able to grab these, and I don't want Germany randomly spread out within my nation. There's seven, ten and seven. Wait, what's that? Is that 56 or seven? Oh, there's the seven one. Oof, that would have been horrible if Germany got that. Let's see, the other ones should be expensive enough. There's a five, there's a one. I really don't want to miss any. Uh, Eleven, you might be bad. The rest should be expensive, well, should be harsh enough, since, yeah, as you can see, there's, they're quite expensive. But what if, I don't know, these are 20 and become 7,000. One becomes, well, 
could be reasonable almost to grab. Okay, we can grab a bit more. There, there we go. That's the first turn. Wait, 200 for... We haven't grabbed Moscow itself. Alright, let's grab that. Please tell me you didn't take anything from me. You took some areas right there. Uh, let's just take a bit more right now. Then I'm gonna pause. Then I'm gonna pass now. Just get 1,500 extra score. What the hell is that? Why did Hungary get 45,000 score? Uh, did you grab anything? No. Oh, so it must have been a random bug. Something that went over limit or something. Now I can pass a bunch of time because it's only me left. And I can take the rest of it. Very good. God, I was really scared there that Hungary would just take all the land I saved up. And that would have created the most horrible border gore ever. Then I'd probably just tag over to Hungary and force them to return. Oh, we for forgot one area. The 4-1. Luckily, they didn't take anything. Let's see. Is it pretty borders? No weird puppets. Nothing. I don't think so. So, done. Germany took. Soviet Union was the next. Everyone was the next. I got a bunch of their equipment. And you took 13 states, which might be the ones right here. Cool. And let's just double check. Germany. No green stuff. No. Cool. Cool. Okay. We got everything we wanted. So, how about this Germany? Should we go to war with each other? It's a very small front, which is, well, a good thing. It would be... Well, it would be nice if I could br bring you down, actually. That you are a dangerous enemy. Or a dangerous potential enemy. I don't know if I will trigger you later. I might very much do it, but... Like, I, I, that's the danger with Black Eyes mod. I don't know everything right here. They, it could be an event that just says declare war against Soviet Union or Japan has betrayed us. Declare war against them. I don't know. It might be an event that says... I don't know. I have no clue actually. That's why. So that's why I kind of might want to remove the potential danger before it's actually dan danger. Wait, we can't... Quarter he retires. But he have done that twice. Oh wait, he retired. Oh! Oh, we had him, but he retired. Oh, I think we had him assigned at both the Navy. Yeah, we had it. Wait, are you the same guy? No. It was two princes and both of them retired. Oh, it was two different princes last time. And yeah, they both have retired right now. And the common turn pack, they don't exist, so refuse. Uh, recovery rate, yes please. Heavy aircraft level 1, light aircraft level 1, tank factory level 12. Oh, we're getting everything... That's of Union have. Wow. That's amazing. How many civilian factories do we have now? A bunch, but a lot of a lot of stuff that needs to be repaired. So as soon as you're done with this, which you are in three days, we can repair everything. That should go quite quickly. And then I will discuss with myself and you guys if I'm gonna declare war against Soviet Union or Germany. Uh, first of all, let's see. We can build a tank army if we want. Let's let's get a division. Uh, I will modify you, I think, for that. Armor card recon. No, let's just do one from, well, from the start, from the beginning. Uh, let's see. There we have. Create empty. And I want to see. So, what I would like in that one is support anti-tank. I want... Where is the normal artillery? I guess this one. I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Wait, we don't have a support right here. Huh. Alright. Never mind. This is just artillery battalion. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's just... Let's ignore it then. We want definitely, at least, the anti-tank gun. Support anti-tank battalion. We want... We want armored car. We want division headquarters detachment. Definitely. We want engineers. We want field hospital. We want maintenance, we want logistics, and is there anything else I would like? What does this do? Tankette, it gives bad modifiers. No thank you. And I think this is it. Then we need to gather up this one. So, I want medium tank, medium tank, medium tank, medium tank, and even more, a bit more medium tanks. 
Then let's see, I want uh, probably medium tank. I want a uh, medium tank, medium tank, medium tank, and yeah, a medium tank. So that's the beginning, like just massive elite right there. And then motorized. I want mechanized infantry battalion. I want another mechanized. I want another mechanized. I want another mechanized. And I think another mechanized. So this is 30 limit. It's a pretty good division. Half strong, but armor is absolutely nothing. What the hell? Why do you have so little armor? Is it because all of these mechanized? If we remove this. Why is armor basically nothing? Is it the tanks? Uh, I need to check that now. I don't care that if we lose this. Armor, armor. 50. Is it because of these guys? Well, I'm gonna save that. And then I want to just see what happens if I remove all of them. 28. We So we lose some armor from this, but how can... You only have 28 armor. So armor is so much less right here in the black guys mod you have much less armor for the tanks until well i guess the very late game tanks so having so little piercing that i did have it was fine because the tanks probably had the same kind of small amount of armor it's 42 actually so they probably had this tank and that was 50 armor once you start losing a bit of them it was okay so it wasn't as dangerous as i thought thought before our low piercing was probably fine hmm so many more new things. This is stuff I need to know if I'm gonna play this game really, really good. Like, it wasn't that dangerous. Low, low piercing is fine. Instead of raging about it. So much. Uh, yeah, let's save that as a medium tank division. Uh, we then need to start actually producing mechanized. But do we even have that research? Oh, actually, we should have it researched since we can actually, well, put it there. And uh, let's see. Moto cavalry. What? Motorized cavalry, is that the thing? Or is this mechanized? I don't know. <laughs> oh god. Black guy's names, why? Um, yeah, no clue right there. Let's see. Is mechanized written anything here? Amphibious, super heavy. Is this the mechanized? No, that's armored cars. Armored cars. Is that the mechanized? No. Is mechanized over here? Yeah, motorized there. Okay. Where is mechanized? <laughs> slight problem. Just a slight problem. I think I asked this last time and I was completely lost and I missed it. This gotta be the mechanized then. No light utility vehicles. Reconnaissance. So that's re tank reconnaissance units. Okay, alright. But I still don't see any mechanized units. Here's just the motorized. Okay, let's scan every single one a bit slowly. Right here. No, 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 no. Not anything. Not here. Support. Not anything right there. Or, no, that's just trucks. Here. Artillery moves. Nope. Let's go to tanks. Amphibious light. Super heavy, there's armored car, reconnaissance, and utility vehicles. Volvo 1, nothing right there, and I don't think there is anything on the rest of the areas right here. So, what in hell is mechanized? It's not visible right there, alright, then it needs to be here. What are you gonna use? Let's see. What do you cost me in to build? Doesn't say, no. Just 80 mechanized, damn it. Uh, light utility vehicles. But it just have mechanized written there. So that's why I'm thinking, why doesn't it just say mechanized when I hold over something? Cavalry, could this be? No, vehicle radio radios. HQ equipment. Trucks. This is, this gotta be armored cars. Motorized cavalry, heavy trucks. I have no clue. Huh, you better tell me and then I can fix that in the next episode. <laughs> I'm so confused. So let's at least get these medium tanks. Let's get two lines of that and then we'll just constantly upgrade you. But the rest of you, let's finally fix all of these things that we're kind of limited but we 
haven't done. So I want one and three. I want HQ radios that can just be four. They're probably all right. Uh, I'm gonna fill up you to one complete. Then we have mortar teams one and three. I want same thing right here one and three. Cavalry equipment. Well, we're definitely not gonna need HQ equipment. Let's get a bit more right there. Sniper teams one level, one full right there, one full right there. And I think this should be fine. Actually, let's get one full right there completely. And let's see if we do this. I'm thinking one one thing could also be fine. I'm gonna let it tick once, and then it should show a desperate need of mechanized. They're medium tanks, and the other desperate need should be mechanized if we have any. So this is the mechanized. Why didn't you say so? Ah, oh, that was the best idea ever. So here, but Moto Cavalry. Mechanized infantry. Yeah, if I just held over and actually checked the description, I was just so sure it wasn't mechanized because it said Moto Cavalry. Then where are you in the research tab? If you are right here, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, you're not right there. I know exactly how you look right now, so... Where in hell are you? Not right here. Nope. Support. No, that's trucks. Infantry right here. Motor cavalry. So that's mechanized. So it goes from motorized to mechanized. I had thinking these looked a bit too, well, motorized, just be motorized, but alright. So we go from motorized to mechanized. But, well, it's a different picture right there than the one I actually have, so... That could also have confused me. God damn it. Alright, let's at least start begin producing some of them. Like, six of them. Right here, I want them spawn right in Tokyo. And did we set up anything for you? Right, you don't actually have enough factories for this now. And uh, let's see. Let's stretch this one, and let's one full, one full of each. And when I eventually have enough factories for it, then I will also start producing them. Wait, this doesn't cost any political power? What? Alright, that's one thing in Black Eyes I didn't know about either. So we learned a lot of new stuff right here, that's cool. And yeah, repairing stuff is going quite quickly. 96%, I'm a bit annoyed that it says never on that one. Why does it say never in some? Well, let's just repair everything. And with everything I mean everything. Except maybe the anti-air anti gun, but well, we can't not repair it. And then otherwise it's just mostly mechanized and it's gonna take basically a month or two. It said 356 days, but that's without factories. So, yeah. Uh, okay, let's go down. Let's get some mechanized. God damn it. And uh, let's see. Wait, that was way ahead of time. Mm, isn't there anything else? Yeah, we can upgrade this one instead. Get better weapons for everyone. Uh, a fleet. We have, well, a nice navy now. Or a couple more factories to build a better navy. And uh, let's see. This one, super heavy battleships. Is that the ones we're producing? No. Nagato class have we done, yeah. So let's continue with Nagato class and Tokyo. Excellent. So Germany, Germany, Germany. Do we have enough, enough supply right here? Yes, we do. For actually, not right here. Minsk, that's why. We don't have that single city. Uh, let's see if we fix this. Well, it would probably be very hard to actually fix it completely. But we could justify war again. Actually, that now, uh, now it takes 56 days because we're not war with a major nation. And they have a bunch of modifiers. Hmm. Well, you, you are at war with the Allies, so it could be nice to bring you down. And United States have joined the Allies right now. Damn it. Alright, it will be war against. So if I did it, if I just attack the Allies, then Germany will also be distracting them. If I attack Germany right now, then it would be me alone against the Allies. Wouldn't that actually be better? So I don't have to deal with... Well, I am pretty safe right here, right now. I could really just... Yeah, actually, I, I think I will ignore the Allies. I think I will ignore Germany and just focus on the Allies right here. I will invade from Japan straight to United States. I will bring down their navy. I will crush everyone. Just bring down the United States. And then if we want to finish off the campaign even better. 
then we can bring down the Axis too. But yeah, United States is the main focus. We need our revenge. Well, United States was probably backed by a bunch of people right here, so we want to get revenge on too. But United States, you would want that open our ports, and I'm going to shut the fuck up and kill you later. That's what I just want to say. So anyway, guys, I have to end this episode right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, that you like and subscribe, and that we'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.